Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by my YouTube channel today and checking out this video of the final test of Ed's USSC brand pellet stove controller. I believe this one's out of a 5502M, but I'm not 100% sure since I don't recall our exact conversations about that. In any case, uh, Ed was saying that the controller had basically no functionality. When I received it, uh, the display up here was showing just gibberish, letters that could not be made out into words, and then it would go into shutdown mode. You could restart the controller and the same thing would happen, but then it would go immediately into shutdown mode. So Ed sent it to me, I received it yesterday, I took some time to troubleshooting it, and I found three specific faults with it. So those faults have been repaired, and I'm ready to do final test. So let's go ahead and turn on my pellet tester, and that will turn on the controller. And you see now it's in boot up mode with USSC as the logo, and then PLLT as a configuration, version 2.76, draft fan comes on, and it's in the off mode. And we see we have some blinking lights. The combustion fan is on. Let me go through my uh, tester here. I have the igniter, a light bulb that simulates the igniter, a light bulb that simulates the combustion fan, a light bulb that simulates the auger in yellow, and a light bulb with a red indicator that simulates the convection or room fan. So, let me go ahead and turn it on. And there we are, we are into heat range one. With that in mind, uh, I'll let you know that I do not currently have the sensor for the exhaust fan on. And I have that for a specific reason, and I don't have a thermocouple either. So, uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and we'll uh, wait a little, little bit of time here, approximately a minute. And then I'll be able to go ahead and check to make sure that the igniter does not trip and give an error code 6. Uh, in, in the meantime, we can see that the keyboard is functional in that I'm able to step through the heat ranges, 2, 4, 5, and then back down, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm able to adjust the room fan setting from automatic to 9, but then nothing more for now. Uh, the draft fan, I can automatic, I can go down all the way to 1, and back up to automatic, or 9, and I'll bring it back down to 1. And then the auger, or the auxiliary, should set the, um, should tell us when uh, the uh, igniter is on. So it's been a little over a minute here, and we're not seeing the igniter come on. So as I said, I have the exhaust switch disconnected, and when I press this, that'll close the switch and tell the computer on the controller that we do have exhaust in a low pressure zone so that will allow the igniter to come on and the auger to drive so let's have a look at that real quick let me press it and there's the igniter and there's the auger and notice that for as long as I have my finger on the button the igniter will stay on which means we have exhaust and that allows the igniter to stay on and at the same time the controller is not throwing an error code so that sensor circuitry is working fine. And you see the auger cycling on and off. So I'll release that and we'll see the igniter go off. There it is. Uh, the other thing I'll check is the with the on button here, I believe I can press it and that causes the auger to drive. So if I press the on button and I hold my finger on it, that causes the auger to drive and we also don't get an error code here. So that circuitry is working. So then, we have a few options we can proceed to next. Let's do the quick uh, reset. So to do a reset, we have to press the auxiliary buttons, the up and the down buttons at the same time, and hold that for three seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, and it puts this into buy mode, where it basically reboots the controller. You may want to do this once in a while if you're having an error code and you're trying to clear it, but I don't know exactly what else it does. So there we are, we're back on, let's go ahead and turn it on, and we're in heat range 1. And the auger drives for a little bit and then it'll shut off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I need to connect a temperature sensor to the controller. I don't have one at this time. I have a therm thermistor and I'll connect that in, but first I better turn off the controller here. So Let me turn off the controller, I'll plug in the th temperature sensor. That won't take very long at all.
and turn the controller back on and let it let it go through the boot up sequence and this time we will see uh, a temperature when we go through the self test and you notice now the convection or room fan comes on and that's partly because the thermistor that I'm using and I've mentioned this in other videos is not the correct one for this application so it's actually probably showing like 180 degrees Fahrenheit right now so let's go ahead and we'll uh, go into self-test mode and you do that by pressing the off and auger delay both at the same time and that'll put us into draft mode if I can press both buttons at the same time there we go hard to do with one hand so we're in draft mode we have a little light above the word draft and the light that simulates the draft fan is actually on and we're not getting an error code so that's good if I press any key on the button on the keypad we'll go to the next thing which is the room fan and we saw the draft fan go off the room fan come on and the indicator above the room fan, room fan to tell us it's on uh, the igniter is now on I, the lamp that's called igniter and so is the auxiliary indicator so that's right uh, the auger the light that simulates the auger is on and so is the heat range lamp so that's correct next we'll go to the stirring or the hopper and I don't have an indicator for that uh, the next one is the thermostat uh, the thermostat you look for a little green light here if this if the thermostat is calling for heat I know it's calling for heat right now because I have a jumper on the back of the circuit board which is pretty standard for this stove I've never seen one without it so that's why this little light is on is because the thermostat is, is turning it on for this test if I go to the next one we get 191 degrees or 188 degrees Fahrenheit as I noted I don't have the correct thermistor for this so it's not reading room temperature but if I were to take it and squeeze it in my hands we'll see that the temperature will rise up to above 200 degrees Fahrenheit so that is the correct functionality of the circuit there that is what I expect to see during this test and that is pretty standard if I had the correct thermistor there we, I expect that I would read room temperature and then it would increase in temperature as I uh, squeeze it between my fingers so that section of the controller is working correctly if I press the next key I get 60 H which refers to the frequency of the power coming into the controller which is 60 Hertz which is standard North American uh, frequency for power and then I go into buy mode so the controller uh, essentially reboots one more time so there's just one last thing I'll check here and that's the auger delay so I'll wait for it to come on so we're on uh, I did say that if I press the on key I can cause the um, the auger to come on there it is and it stays on as long as I'm pressing the uh, on key and then the next thing I can do is press the auger delay so if I do that it basically disables the auger in automatic operation and you see that by the little red light up above to clear that and while this light is on we will not see the auger motor run or the light indicator on to clear that you press the on key and that will make that disappear and there we have it so Ed your controller is now once again fully functional had a number of issues but uh, I've gotten through them all it's a little bit worse for wear but uh, other than that it's, it's, it's working and it should work well in your stove I'm going to be sending this back to you for installation and be sure to let me know if you have any issues with it or if you have any questions. For all you other viewers out there, if you have a USSC brand pellet stove controller of your own that needs service, have a look at the um, video description just below this video. My contact information can be found there. Uh, you can text me or call me. I'll be glad to speak to you about your uh, issues. And uh, if it if necessary, we can work on having yours repaired as well. Hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that very much. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.